What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm back with a second video of the day. So in the previous video I uploaded earlier, I talked to you guys about the possible iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak, which isn't likely, but it was still shown on video. And also that iOS 9.3.3 and 9.3.2 are no longer being signed. And now I'm back with another important video. This is actually going to be a video talking about the new iOS 9.3.5 firmware that was just released today by Apple. And there's only one fix with this firmware and it is a patch for three critical zero day exploits. Now those three security vulnerabilities were exploited by a hacking group called NSO. And one of the people they targeted earlier this month was a human rights defender named Ahmed Mansour. So they targeted him by sending him a legitimate looking text message with a legitimate looking link but the link was actually the exploit. And he knew this was suspicious, which is why he didn't actually click on the link, but he knew that he needed to pass it along to somebody that would figure out how it works. So he passed it along to researchers and they found out exactly how this exploit works. And it's quite interesting. So if Mr. Mansoor would have clicked on that link in the text message, his device would actually be jailbroken on the spot remotely and malware would have been injected without him even knowing. And this exploit would allow the hacking group to access his photos, his location, his text messages, his emails, it would send them his encrypted passwords and even be able to activate the microphone. So since two security firms have actually figured out how this exploit worked, they passed it along to Apple and that's why iOS 9.3.5 was released to patch these exploits. So this is the first time we've actually seen a remote jailbreak actually working out in the real world. So this could actually be a potentially good thing for the future of jailbreaking. We'll just have to kind of wait and see what happens. However, from the time being, you definitely want to make sure to avoid clicking on any links in the messages app unless you know for a fact, 100% fact, that that link is safe. Now, if you're on iOS 9.3.4 or any previous iOS version and you don't care about jailbreaking, I'd highly recommend that you update to 9.3.5 immediately. You wanna make sure your device is as secure as possible. Even if you're a nobody, if you're not a known figure, you know, you still wanna make sure your device is as secure as it can be. So you definitely wanna go ahead and update to 9.3.5 if you do not care about jailbreaking. Now, if you are jailbroken and you're on iOS 9.3.2 or iOS 9.3.3, I'd say you just stay on that firmware just use extra caution inside of the Messages app. Now, if you wanna know a lot more about this exploit and a lot more context about it, be sure to click the links in the description. There's actually an article written on the New York, New York Times and also one from Vice, and they are very interesting pieces. I definitely recommend you go ahead and check them out if this is something that interests you. So there you have it, guys. That is what's new in iOS 9.3.5. Again, I'd highly recommend you go ahead and update to 9.3.5 if you do not care about jailbreaking. But if you do jailbreak and you are currently on a jailbreak right now, I'd highly recommend you just stay there just use some extra caution when in the messages application so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more videos pertaining to jailbreaking tutorials tweak videos all kind of good stuff like that so thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you soon